you guys, I am a black, you know, I am a Nigerian. Yeah, and I'm here in Luxembourg. How? Why Luxembourg? Why choose Luxembourg? How are you enjoying it as a black? Are they racist? This, that, that. I'll share with you all that in this video. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am Modesta, a Nigerian mommy vlogger living in Luxembourg. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, if this is your first time visiting my channel, hi, you're highly welcome. Do well to join the family, subscribe to this channel, and you really enjoy it here with us. Here I share videos. <laughs> I share videos about lifestyle, vlogs, you know, Luxembourg, um, food, anything at all. So join the family. I'm very sure that you would um, enjoy this family with us. I have a playlist. I have a lot of videos on my Luxembourg playlist, lifestyle, pet talks. Like we talk about everything and anything on this channel. So join and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Yeah, today I am filming this video with Samara. It's a collaboration video. <laughs> My baby girl is so happy to see herself on the screen. Like she was looking at herself and she was like, What is Baba doing? This is what I do. Okay? This is what I do. So, you guys, welcome back once again. Today, I want to share with you um, being a black in Luxembourg, how it feels like. Yes, I have a lot of people asking me, my subscribers, hey, <laughs> my subscribers asking me, How is it like to be a black in Luxembourg? How is it like? How is the life? Are there blacks in Luxembourg? You want to know? Then the best thing for you to do is to watch this, watch this video to the end to know what I have to say about being a black in Luxembourg. You guys, I am a black, you know, I am a Nigerian. Yeah, and I'm here in Luxembourg. How? Why Luxembourg? Why choose Luxembourg? How are you enjoying it as a black? Are there racist? This, that, that. I'll share with you all that in this video. Before I continue, I've made videos in the past about, you know, racism in Luxembourg. I've also shared videos about um, lifestyle in Luxembourg, why you need to be in Luxembourg, and the advantages of being in Luxembourg. I might be leaving that link to all these videos here. I think on the left. On the left. Yes. So, do well to watch this video first before you can go watch all those videos. So, let's continue. You guys know that Luxembourg is one of the smallest countries in the world. I mean, one of the smallest countries in the world with 645,397 population. So we're not even up to 1 million. And when I'm talking about this population, half of this population, about 300 and something thousand are foreigners living in Luxembourg. So it means that half of the population are the original you know, owners of the country, that's the Luxembourgers. So, the Luxembourgers, they're not even so much. They're not so much. We're not even up to one million here. And yet, the richest country in the world. One of the richest country in the world. Let me put it like that. Maybe the second richest country in the world. Yes. So, there are so many good things, you know, tied to living in Luxembourg. And I will be sharing with you the lifestyle. If there are social lifestyle here, the work the healthcare system you know i'll be sharing with you what blacks plan to gain living in luxembourg i'll share with you all that in this it is bordered by belgium on the west and north france on the south and germany on the northeast and east the language we speak in luxembourg you guys know that luxembourg shares border with these countries i've mentioned belgium france and then um, germany so here in luxembourg being that it shares border with France, we speak French in Luxembourg. We have like four administrative languages in Luxembourg. French is one of it. Then being that it, it shares border with Germany, we speak German or Dutch here in Luxembourg. And then we also speak, um, you know, um, Belgium speaks Dutch. Yes, Belgium speaks Dutch and French. So here in Luxembourg, we also speak um, Dutch. Then we speak English and then the Luxembourgish. So these are the languages that we speak. And we speak, we have like four administrative languages. And then um, for you to live here, you should at least speak one international language. This is not the case of I can speak my native language. If it is not 
international, it will be very difficult for you to cope. It's either you're speaking the English language or you're speaking the French, the German, the Luxembourgish. And then when you have to work or when you want to work, you should know at least two international languages. So you are perfect in one, like you have a very um, advanced level or you're very fluent in a particular language and then you are at intermediate level in the other international language. So for you to work here, it does not mean that if you cannot speak French, you cannot work in Luxembourg. There are a lot of international companies with English speaking background and there are companies with French speaking background and there are companies with German, like they specify these things when you are looking for a job. They will tell you that you have to be very competent in either speaking English or know a little knowledge or have a little knowledge of French or very competent in German and have a little knowledge of English just like that so and for you to work for the government you should be very good in speaking at least two international languages you're speaking either French, fluent French or fluent English or German as the case may be so that is the language here in Luxembourg but like I said it doesn't mean if you're speaking very good English you cannot yeah. sorry there it doesn't mean that if you're speaking very good English, you cannot live here. Or if you're speaking very good German, you cannot live here. Or if you're speaking very good French, you cannot live here. No, that being said, you can live here as long as you're very fluent in those languages. So now I want to share with you the lifestyle, being a black in Luxembourg. How, how, how does it feel? The lifestyle here, the social life and what have you. So lifestyle as a black in Luxembourg is very, very good. I know in one of my videos, I shared with you being pregnant in Luxembourg, okay? Yeah, so being a black in Luxembourg, it, I, how do I say it? It's just like living your normal lifestyle wherever you come from or, um, yeah. Yeah, so it's just like living your normal lifestyle. There are no discriminations. You're a black, you're a black. When you talk about the food, there are African stores where you can get those foods you eat in your country of origin. So here, being a black is very, very wonderful. The experience has been so good. And if you're a black here, or let's say you're coming from Asia or anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you know it, right? You know it. You're coming from Asia or anywhere in the world. Once you live in Luxembourg for five years, you're eligible to apply for their passport. That's their citizenship. And then you have access to the hospital just like the normal way, you know, the Luxembourgers live their life. You have the same, you have the same life. The only thing is that you might not have access to some things, you know, if you are not a citizen. But it does not mean that if you're a black, you cannot have access to those things. No, if you are a black and you are not a citizen, but you are a black and you are a citizen, you have access to everything the citizen, you know, has access to. You live like the citizen. In fact, you now live like a white with a black skin color. Yes. <laughs> Being a black in Luxembourg. So the lifestyle, like I was saying, you get to meet other blacks like here. Um, there are so many blacks here. There are Zimbabweans. There are Zambians. There are Ugandans. There are Nigerians. And then when you talk about... When you talk about Nigeria, you talk about the Yorubas, the Hausas, the Igbos. I I got a comment from one of my videos. Someone commented that Igbos are everywhere. Oh yes, Igbos are everywhere. Here you have the Igbo community, you have the Yoruba community. The lifestyle is so good. And you know that when, once you're outside Nigeria, you meet the Yoruba, you meet the Hausa, you automatically connect. You become brothers and sisters. So when there are gatherings like that, you see... The Yorubans, you have a mixture of the Edo. Edo's are here too. So if you are from Edo, there are there are Edo people here. Oh yes, Edo they here. So you have a mixture of black and um, the Edo, the Igbo. You know all the almost all the tribes you can mention in Nigeria are here. So during summer like this, the social life is very good because it is hot. So people go out to hang out, meet with friends. You you you. Um, go for barbecues with friends, especially from you know people from your country. You can mix with other you know citizens or people from other countries. Yes, but when it comes like being a black here, when you go out for barbecues, you see different countries hosting barbecues. You see there was one. Okay, I remember when I was was it two months ago, three months ago. 
I we were at Coco Share. I made a live video. I made a video. I showed you Ugandans. They have their stand. They play music. They dance. They roast chicken. You know, they barbecue fish. Anything and they're eating. People come with food as well. People can host barbecues in their houses. I also shared moving, going to the um, north of the country. We went to a lady's house. She hosted us. You know for barbecue so the lifestyle here is good you meet with other people you hang out with people you go to the park with children with your kids they mix with other kids they play in the park the lifestyle the social life here is very very good then in one of my videos i shared about being you know experiencing racism here in luxembourg are they racist in luxembourg i mean anywhere in the world everywhere you go to you'll find you racist either they don't you know believe in your language or your skin color or they don't like you that they, they they are all over the world even in the country where you come from okay so here in luxembourg there are racist but how do you handle them you give them their own tea like when they come you serve them with the the flavor yes baby you serve them with the flavor they deserve that yes you don't have to be rude Racist can be rude. It's not like they're telling you, I don't like you. No, they will tell you. But their action, they can play or display very rude actions that you might not like. I've shared how I was in the bus. I sat down and the woman beside me stood up and preferred to, you know, stand in the bus. Yes, stand. So what did I do? I occupied the whole space. Like, hey sis, thank you for leaving. As if you know that this place will not enter me. I occupied the host place or was it the experience I had here in my house I, I came out I was coming from the laundry and then I saw this woman coming downstairs I went ahead to greet her hello bonjour and she spat at me what did I do I spat back I, and then life continued I moved forward the only thing you cannot do here is to fight or to steal it will tarnish your image okay it will tarnish your image your name will be in the black black book and there are some jobs that you cannot do the moment you fight still you know there are some kind of actions you will do and you will no longer you know work in some very good company like before they employ you they will ask you to get a criminal um something something i forgot so when you go and they write that thing for you that you have stolen or you have um, fought before or you have displayed some kind of way and very bad character um, sis forget it you will lose that job especially when you apply for jobs in the bank or um teaching you know very tangible positions you cannot you know no no you can't work you can't work in those areas if you have if your name is in the black book or maybe you've done so many you know different things in the past and then um, no no you can't work in some areas here in London. So now I want to be talking about the healthcare system. Oh yes. For me this is the best part for me because I feel like being pregnant every year. <laughs> I feel like being pregnant. I've not really been that I've not really been that sick. I've not been severely sick since I came to this country for me to go and live in the hospital or for me to go and stay in the hospital. I've only gone to the hospital and I stayed in the hospital. Yes, when I was pregnant. My like my two kids, I had them here in Luxembourg. Yes, baby. I had them here in Luxembourg and the healthcare system is superb. Like superb. Superb. They are very quick. You know, they, this is abroad. What, what, you when you talk about the Western countries, lots of people is, I mean, so things are very, very, ah. yes, things are very, very fast. When you don't have, let's say, your, you don't have a car, you're sick, you're seriously down, and you can't walk yourself to the, yes, baby, and you can't walk yourself to the hospital. Ah. My baby's wondering, who is she talking to? But I'm here, who is she talking to? Who is mama talking to? I'm talking to our subscribers. They want to know. They want to know. Yes. Yeah, so, like, uh, like I was saying, I've been to the hospital. I've stayed in the hospital. Just when I was pregnant, when I had my two kids. Yes. So the life, the life in the hospital. How is it like? How did they treat me? It was so good. I also shared a video. You know, hospital tour. To start with, the hospital environment looks so neat. It does not smell detour, it does not smell eyes out, it looks like a hotel. And each room, there is 
a personal room, a private room. And then if you want to stay, yeah. And then each room you stay, you have two occupants in a room. So if you don't want to stay with anybody in the room, you can go ahead and pay for a private room. And then there, are, there is television. You, yes, baby. You pay for the Wi-Fi and you enjoy yourself. The food is good. Oh my God, I need the food. The food is good. So they serve you three course meal. They serve you appetizer. They serve you the main dish and they serve you dessert. So the food is good. The healthcare system is very good. And you have doctors at your beck and call. Like if if you're sick, if my child is sick now, what do I do? And I don't have an appointment with the doctor. I call their doctor immediately and he gives me an emergency appointment. And then I'll take my kids there. Like they don't joke with kids, they don't joke with health here. They have value for lives and they have value for properties. So the healthcare system is good. And then on weekends. When my kid's doctor is not on seat and there is something serious, they have an emergency hospital where you can take the kids to and they will be attended to immediately. And if there is any need for them to prescribe drugs or they will tell you, you know, abroad here in Luxembourg, they don't really give drugs to kids. No, if, even if your kid, even if your child is coughing, coughing, unless that cough is very severe or attached to a particular illness, that is when they, if, if the child is coughing, they'll tell you, ah, don't worry, the, the system will fight it. They don't give, the highest medication they will give you for your child when you go to the hospital is paracetamol. That is the highest. But if you insist, they might give you um, antibiotics and they will say, okay, give for a so period, but this drug will not really do anything but then. But the highest they will give you for kids. Is paracetamol so the healthcare system is very good i also remember when my husband was seriously sick that last year like he broke down and he couldn't even drive himself i was home with the kids and oh my god it was so emotional he called the ambulance and in less than five minutes the ambulance was here they took him to the hospital he went they gave him a bed they you know they attended to him very well and the same day he came back to the house so he came back on his own. So when you cannot, this is not the case of, ah, I cannot go to the hospital and there is hold up. No. Once the ambulance is on the road, on the highway with their siren, hey, everybody will give space. It is an emergency. That's what it means. It is an emergency. So the healthcare system here is very good. I love it so much. They, they yeah, they have regard for human lives. Okay. They have regard for human lives and then the next thing i want to talk about is the work how is it like working in luxembourg how is the work how they like you want to start a career in luxembourg how is it like it is very very good like i said luxembourg is in the middle of french german and belgium like it's a very wonderful country the work life here is very good it is very you know um i would, would i say that is perfect Yes, there are some jobs or companies you work with. You have like uh, maybe two days to work in the office or maybe three days to work from home. The work life is very good. The salary, the salary is perfect. I can't even emphasize on this. You guys, I don't know how to say this, but the salary is perfect. You can imagine a country where people from Belgium, people from Germany, people from France, they come to work in Luxembourg because of the salary okay the salary is good it's better than these other countries that i mentioned and when you talk about the work system the work life is balanced you know family and work life here is very very balanced so and then you have maternity leave and when you're maternity leave the government pays you and then your husband can as well take a maternity leave if he wishes to and he gets paid as well so the mother can take this year and next year the father can take like but the two of you cannot take that maternity leave the same time you have summer breaks you can go for your summer holidays i mean the work life is very very good the work the work life is very very good and they balance it with family here in luxembourg family comes first so whatever that your family needs is first and your work life is different okay so you just have to find a way to balance it yes and when you talk about the schooling the studies is good okay okay sorry so here in luxembourg if you're a black and you're working in luxembourg you know you're earning there is no um how would i say there's no difference between your salary and the white you earn the same thing for that position so if you're at entry level you are earning the same thing there is no partial in salary. Ah, you're a black. We will not pay you like this. 
is that no they 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 look out for the experience how you can carry out your duties diligently and then as a black there are jobs that you cannot work that if you are not a european member that is if you don't have the european passport as a black so as a black you cannot work for jobs under european union okay you cannot work for jobs under european union talk about european investment black investment bank if you're a black you cannot work there and but if you are a black and you have the european passport you can work there so the work life the job here everything is very very good perfect and then you talk about the school the school system is good the educational system here is very very good and then free education for all government schools like it's not like it's 100% 100% free you have some amount you pay it's it's affordable that's what i'm saying it's affordable compared to other countries like here if you are a black here in luxembourg and you're going to the university university of luxembourg is the only government university here so you you pay 200 euros every semester the same thing as every other person as every other person living here whether you have the passport you don't have the passport the same thing and then your kids the same thing let's say you just moved to luxembourg your kids are not luxembourgers yet the same thing okay if they're going to a government school this they are paying the same thing they're having the same meal you know they they are they, the lifestyle for kids in school is the same they're having the same experience they are playing with their classmates there's nothing like ah this class is for only blacks or no it's it, it's mixed up like in my son's class there are about two of them who are nigerians anyways not just blacks they're nigerians my son and one other girl and in my daughter's class she's the only black girl in that class so every other person in the class they are and they take care of them the same way like there is no ah uh, this school no no once it is a government school or even when my kid was when my son was in a private school the experience was superb like i really loved the school but then you have to pay the the fees we are paying for him. You need to address somebody in the university in Nigeria. So now he's now in a government school and it's way cheaper and it's better for us. Okay, so yeah, um, this is just what I just came here to share because I get you know questions about people asking me this being a black are there blacks in Luxembourg? How is it like? How is the work experience as a black? This, that, that, that. So, I hope I've answered all your questions in this video. My baby girl is now sleeping. You can tell that she was actually feeling sleepy earlier on. Now she has gone to bed. So, I hope I've answered all your questions in this video. I know I did my best to, like, answer your questions. But then, if you have more questions, leave your questions with me in the comment section. I'm down there replying on your comments. And if you have any video ideas for me, do not forget to leave them for me. And then if you enjoyed this video, go ahead to give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel, and do all of those good stuff to this video. <laughs> yes, just share this video, share it anyhow. Um, I filmed it with my daughter, small, small distractions here and there, but I know I'm able to like say some important things to you guys. And then with that, I'll say bye-bye, have a nice day, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe. Bye!